So the stupid Muhammad, he took the word as it is, claiming that Allah he sent down the Injil, which would make Jesus was sent to the Greek, not to the uh, to the people of Israel, as the Quran claim. <clears throat> but anyway, what you expect from Muta boys and girls? Uh, a Muslim ask, in which authority Christian prince he speak? This guy he is talking about troll. But he is the same guy who keep coming to our channel and he posts in the comment section that the Christians they have three gods. His name is Captain Majid. Muslim only have one question about three gods. I'm going to show you who is the female and who is the male now. This is not our topic. But as I know, you are a prophet, he wear his wife clothing and he never receive Quran until he wear it. And he claimed that this is Aisha. Uh, clothing is the best because he never received Quran except in the clothes of Aisha and then the Muslims the Muhammad and they try to duct tape what Muhammad is doing cross-dressing they say oh this is not about her clothes this is about her house but that is even more horrible I never heard of the word uh, thawb used for house hmm I'm going to my thawb <laughs> that's funny thawb you can go and type it in dictionary you will see that thawb mean dress but if Muhammad he never received Quran except in the thawb of Aisha, which according to Muhammadan duct tape machine, it's mean uh, house. That's when Muhammad never received Quran anywhere else. So all the revelation came in the time of Khadija. It was a fraud. Uh, but anyway, he is saying to me in which authority for your knowledge. That is a good question. So I posted, a, you know, an answer for him. Excellent question, Abdul. Read with me the authority I speak of. A Muslim is speaking about the authority. I said to him, your mother Aisha. <laughs> Who, with which authority I'm speaking of? Your mother Aisha. Look at the news, breaking the news. One of the wives of Allah, Aisha, she said, one of the wives of Allah, join him in a tikaf. You know, the wife of Muhammad now, it's, they, are, they are very decent people. They are praying now to Allah. Maybe we can kill more Jews and take their money. Okay, very decent people. So it says here, so uh, let us show it in the, in the website so the Muslims and Muhammadan will not say, uh, I'm making, you know, this doesn't, doesn't say that, CP, you know them, <clears throat> you know what I mean? You know them, you show it in the screen, it's in the front of them, and they say it doesn't say that, CP. All right, look at the authority, breaking news, you know, I mean, this is, imagine, imagine a woman, her name is Aisha, she have a TikTok account, and she have one point four billion Muslim subscriber because I'm assuming every Muslim will subscribe I, I think you agree with me and now I actually she post a video in her account saying the following breaking the news one of the wives of Allah apostle joined him in itikaf and she noticed a blood and yellowish discharge from her <coughs> pee <laughs> you, you see that Muhammad and they try to duct tape the word amazing Aisha good job what is that in a private part what does that mean are you sure it says there uh, it says there this is what the word it says there are you sure so okay she noticed brother breaking the news uh, let us make you talk uh, let me call uh, uh, put him he is interested in, in uh, uh, because his friend is uh, his adopted son is Kadarov and Kadarov now will be so excited to know the news that one of the wives of the prophet her pee is uh, dripping uh, blood with yellowish color he will come with his uh, uh, pirate of the Caribbean quick question do all Muslim women follow this and put a dish <laughs> This is why I told you before, I will never eat in the house of a Muslim. 
they use dishes to put the underneath of their <clears throat> when they are <coughs> the same dish she eat I mean the Muslim they say to you that the Prophet he used to have one dish and one pot he's very poor but he have 13 wives I mean you see how poor he is 13 house 13 wives 13 mother-in-law he's very poor hmm. but he have one dish okay so the one dish is used where now <laughs> <laughs> it's between the legs of the mother of the believers and now it's dripping what it's a dripping while sleeping with every every few days with a new man in which authority you Muslims accept such a statement without proof Anyone? Any Muhammadan can tell us how come none of you question if this is can be true? How come you take it for granted? How come there is no book of history mention it? Any Muhammadan? There is a website. Let me see. They are giving you uh, reasoning to believe that Muhammad is a prophet of Allah. This is the website here. <clears throat> I will use Google Translation to translate for you. And I will give you the link. Remember to use Google Browser in order to open it. Translate this page to English. Let us translate. The evidence of the prophet the prophecy. Have you ever heard of a prophet's prophecy evidence? <laughs> and other conditions and many things. Okay, the evidence. Let us see the evidence. Number two. Number one, it's in front of you. Uh, hmm. Number two. It says here. When the Messenger of Allah, may Allah praise on, uh, on him and not he pray for him, uh, to him, not for him, okay, for him, not to him, as Mimi Hijab said. And his family was born, a light came out with him. You see, they are trying to duct tape the word vagina. A light. Wow, that's a miracle. Prophet Muhammad. What a miracle. So, and this light reached the palaces of Damascus. Let us be honest. If there is any vagina in the world have such a power, the answer, no. Let us face another reality and fact. Who saw this light coming from the mother of Muhammad vagina. Nobody. How come? Because it's a secretive light. <laughs> Number three. When Allah Messenger, Allah pray on him and salute him, he was born. Mecca was surrounded by constellation of angels. <laughs> Those evidence, by the way. <laughs> Look, did you see the title in the top? It says evidence. The evidence. So those are the evidence of Muhammad being a prophet. Uh. 
Yeah, uh, and actually, there is one of the evidence, you believe it or not, I mean, you will die laughing. The Muhammadan, they claim that Muhammad, when he walk in the sun, he don't have even a shadow. There is no shade behind him of his body. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, this is what they say. With the Holy Prophet. So wait. The prophet was a spirit too? Wow. Oh, uh, hold on, where? Uh -huh, uh, I found it. Second, the weak light has shadow in the front of the strong light, i.e. candle, has a shadow in the presence of the sun. Because the light of the sun is stronger. But the messenger of Allah, Allah pray on him and salute him and his family. He did not have a shadow because his light is stronger than the light of the sun. <laughs> you know, and the Muhammadan they claim that they don't worship Muhammad. No, are you kidding me? He's just a man, like every man, but his light is stronger than the light of the sun, and therefore he don't have a shadow. Hmm. Hey, Captain Majid, are you going to ask me in which authority? I have all your laundry, man. He is... His, his what? His light? That's not really normal. This is, must be God. This guy, he walk, there's, he have no shade. Do you think this is, this is the evidence of Muhammad being a prophet of Allah? Hey, Muhammadan, is that the case for all prophets of Allah? They don't have shade or only, <laughs> and they are light? I thought. <laughs> I thought the one is light is Allah. So now Muhammad is light. So why you make fun of the Shia when the Shia, they say that Muhammad and his family, they used to be stars in the forehead of Allah and they are made of light. They have the shape and the look of a human, but they are not a human. Hmm? Do we have any Muslim? He have authority. One of the funny hadith of Muhammad. He said that you should not sit your and your body. Half of it is in the shade and half of it is on the sun. Anyone knows why? Anyone knows why? That is drama. Satan make Muslim lives miserable. They will never change. Brave, brave people, very brave. If we go to YouTube, uh, let me type this, let me try my luck. Why we cannot set half on the sun and half on the shade? Oof, 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 oof. I found it. Brother, why sitting, read carefully, read carefully. 
The Muhammadan is asking for authority, which means they are people of details and evidence. They don't take things for granted. Why is sitting between the shade and the sun is forbidden? It? And I wish I can play for you the video, you will die laughing. Why? Because the Prophet, he said, Shaitan, he said there. Shaitan, he liked to have sun tan, not full tan. <laughs> <laughs> hey Muslims, in which authority Muhammad he speak? Huh? <clears throat> how how he knew? Okay, and if Shaitan he said there, so what my problem? So now every area in the world there is like a line for shade. Let us say we have a tree. So now the sun is coming, and then there is shade, and there is the sun right away next to it. And then what? This is where Shaitan, he said. Do you see the mental illness of Muhammad? Is that a true? The one who, his mother, she gave birth to him, and light came from her vagina. Is it true that his light was obviously bringing a lot of knowledge? Any hmm? Muhammadan, my Skype is open. And as usual, the Muslims they are busy with their life style. How they are busy reading the stupidity of Muhammad. This is why they are behind all mankind in everything. Imagine. That's what the Muslims are Muhammad and busy with. Let us go and try to find the hadith, the one we are talking about. Any Muhammadan can tell us really what's wrong with this man. Hmm? Hmm. Anyone? Can you make, please make a topic about later, later about fake priest, Hilarion, Hege, and Sophism? Well, my friend, uh, there is uh, there is tons of liars, and uh, you know they get the benefit of their lies. They are not priests. You know the Bible says it clearly: anyone who deny the Father and the Son and the Father is what? Is what? Somebody help me. Who is the Antichrist? <laughs> So, the Antichrist is the one, is the one who deny the Son and the Father, and the Muslim they deny both. So, any time, any time you find someone he claimed to be a priest, false preacher will face judgment. No question about that. Anytime you see someone claiming to be a priest and he is partnering with the Antichrist, he is a priest of the devil. Do I agree, people? I mean, we have uh, the verses are so clear. We do not need to, you know, 
the one who denied the son, the one who denied the father is an antichrist. Not the antichrist as a person, he is an antichrist. And both things is combined in Islam. Islam consider Christians who believe in Jesus to be son of God, they are false and Jesus is nobody. You know, in one hand, the Mohammedan, they claim that they respect Jesus, but the fact the Muslim, they love to insult Jesus. And they insult him every day. Even Allah himself, he accused Jesus to be a liar in the Quran. Anyone knows where? If you go in the Quran, let us see. Uh, my keyboard is typing in English and I'm typing in Arabic. Okay. <clears throat> Read with me and see How the Quran accused Jesus to be a liar. And when Allah, he said to Isa, even Muhammad, he called the wrong names. And there is a theory about this Isa. This is my theory. That Isa, because Muhammad, he thought that uh, the Messiah is the son of Maryam, the sister of Aaron. And there is some Jews claim, which is against the Bible teaching, that Maryam she have a children's, and the children have no father, not because uh, his father is like a miracle. No, but she did something wrong. She stepped with somebody. So she have a son who know what he knows his father, and his name is Aiso. So the stupid Muhammad who made Jesus or Isa, supposedly Jesus, the nephew of Moses, the nephew of Aaron, and the son of Maryam. And here you notice in chapter 5, verse 116, Allah is asking a question showing the stupidity of Islam. And for sure, the Muslim, they would have an answer for this. But let us read it together. And when Allah, he said, and here the Muslim they add in the day of resurrection. <laughs> I mean, have you ever heard of the question said 1400 years ago? Allah will ask it in the day of resurrection to Jesus. I mean, how stupid is that? Same time, 